Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, welcome back, you guys. Um, I started streaming late today because it's it's pretty nice outside, and maybe, maybe I had to get outside, dude. So, ever. whoops. <laughs> uh, Daryl, thanks for the five month resub. Uh, Blue Midget, thanks for the two month maybe, prime sub, maybe, and Stroke, thanks for the eleven month resub as well. Ever. Okay, so I kind of I kind of wanted to, to do master run today instead of continue that playthrough but i like i was kind of i was kind of 50 50 on it dude i was pretty 50 50 oh we'll just so what i'll do uh i'm still i uh, will do a no reset run i think maybe i should maybe i should practice some fights too uh, i think the server's still down i think it's gonna, gonna be down like most of today unfortunately Yeah, I usually don't do this many no reset runs, but I also usually don't prepare for a run and then do something else for a week and then come back to the run and then like go back and forth. So that's kind of why. I was doing some practice earlier. I might as well, we might as well do our like daily millennia. Um, might as well do Millennium, might as well do Red Wolf before we start. I guess I think I should turn up the volume slightly. I can go like one higher, maybe. Let me know if it's too loud. It'll probably get reverted in some save file anyways. Uh, Mr. Zoom, thanks for the nine month resub, dude. I think I have enough FP here.
Probably have to drink here, I think. This is very tricky when, like, that, that quick slash is pretty tricky sometimes, man. Especially when she does it out of an idol. Or, like, twice in a row like that. I should have enough time for this, I think. Didn't really like that too much. Okay, I said I would do one Red Wolf too, if I can find that safe. I mean, I, I, I need to practice all the bosses more on this, 100%. But let's do a full run through today. Make sure the route is looking good. Probably get some like new PB on it, I guess. Because I think my PB is like 9 or something. Something stupid like that. <laughs> oh, I loved it, uh, Thomas, dude. It's great. <laughs> yeah, that was. I actually did watch it, and I was watching the third, and I was at the end. I was just hoping they wouldn't get a shot because it's so funny. Even, even the expansion team went every period with at least a shot, dude. It's just insane. Strong shield. Instead of doing an R2 on that one, I'm going to just do exactly what I just did there. Just do a running R2. I get a stun soon.
Bit of rebuff. I wonder how much uh, poise damage that lightning strike does. Definitely not the first time I've noticed getting a stun. Oh, on that hit. That was not good. Nice. Okay, let's just do a run through, man. And then if 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 I finish this and we have time, then we can continue that uh, that other playthrough, but. I almost kind of want to make a new save. Because my master run save has like... It's just... It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to make a new save. It's annoying because I have my mouse sensitivity turned high in it. And I need it to not be high. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Um, Rikar, thanks for the 100 bits. Andriga, thanks for the six month prime sub. And Werewolf, thanks maybe, for the brand new sub as well, dude. I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, let me. First of all, turn this off. <laughs> Don't need ray tracing on a no hit run. Turn that down. Dress is probably good. How's it going, uh, Orange Peel? Okay, the good old Master Run, dude. What do you guys prefer the volume at? Six or five? It's ray tracing if you do. It just supposedly adds ray tracing. <laughs> I don't know. It's like lighting stuff. I don't know if there's anything more than that, but... Basically, the, this game looks almost the exact same, with and without it. I'm not sure about other games so much. Use camera retaliation. I do use it. I was going to Z's. I use it on Moog. And, uh... I was using it, using it on Millennia to parry. Because it's, it's, you know, it's a maybe, very good parry maybe. and it doesn't take FP. I'll give you the best nut ever. But it doesn't have the range, and the range isn't nice, so... Uh, Jazz, thanks for the nine-month resub as well, dude. It is unfortunate that there's a pretty substantial amount of setup on this run, dude. Once we actually get to attempting it, we're going to be spending probably lots of time. I, I, I really don't want to reset to Red Wolf. You know, so hopefully by the time I start attempting it, I'm just perfect at Red Wolf. But he's a tough boss and it takes like 50 minutes to get to him. So the gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. Yo, Dan, thanks for the $50, dude. That's insane, man. I appreciate that. Uh, we might do it later, uh, Labrir, if, if, you know, I have time. No, the, the Val the Indomitable prevents those reflections, so it's really just a matter of simply being good. At least I don't think a frame trap's possible. Like, that, that is the reason why I get... Vow the Indomitable there. It's purely to prevent that frame trap from happening. How do I know this will be the run? Are you asking me or did somebody else say that? Dad works for Michael Zaki told you there will be a foreskin trio. Really? Uh, the best parry... Is like the best parry is golden parry. 
That's the best one. Objectively, it's the best one. If, if you're if you're talking just like being able to parry an enemy, but it does take FP every time you use it. And I guess it can't parry spells, so. But if you're just parrying like normal attacks, that is the best parry shield because you get some extra range on it. Which is quite good. Uh, Zen Poggers, thanks, dude. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, the, the, I, I'm not really... We're doing a no reset run here. I'm not really, um... Like, not really trying to get the run right now. If, if I end up getting it, then, <laughs> you know, that's good, but... That's not really the goal, the goal of this right now. that absorb spells. I, I just said earlier I do use it. Minimum grace? I, I, I've already done it. Uh, there's going to be a video probably at some point next month. It's a pretty long one, so. I, I've i seen that I think Dist is playing the Reforge mod. I, I haven't actually like watched any of it, though. Or not enough to get an idea of what it is. Oh, oh you're, you're saying for Red Wolf using... I, I think I've tested it. It doesn't really do anything. Like, yeah, you can use it, but he has three spells and you can't parry all the spells. Like, Vile the Indomitable seems to be the only way to consistently avoid the triple glimp blade into the lunge. Because that's the frame trap combo. Like, if, if your distance is incorrect, or, like, and, and there's there's no way to control it in, in the arena because it's such a garbage arena. The other Red Wolf of the Champion is a lot easier to deal with, but... But yeah, you, you kind of need Val the Indomitable for it. I should get these. I don't know why I don't. It's a Bender. Uh, and uh, Husband Hunter as well. Any level cap? Um, there's not. But there's certain, like, level ranges that you can invade into. We'll get the lance up here. Let's go on Aiden. That's the map reveal. I I uh, I just have it on unlocked for the save. We're on also we're also on NG plus seven. So you know, there's actually there was some point where oh yeah, it's for for the God's gonna apostle. We are considering an exalted flesh. I actually might do that. There's no, not really reason not to. Let's go on uh, PU. Uh, Dar, thanks for the good luck as well. Can someone do the the weather command right now? It's very warm out today here. It's got to be at least like fourteen degrees or something. Yeah, 13. That's why that's why I streamed late today, dude. Cuz I was outside. Um so the build the build we use on this, we use um six different weapons, I think. So we've got Ah, uh, what do we have? We've got the uh the battle axe with lightning, the lightning infused battle axe with, um, what do you call it? Lightning slash. So we use that for at least three bosses. And then we also have a spear, which we put flame art on with black flame tornado, which we get late game. And then we also like kind of the main weapons. We get, we go chilling mist on a dagger. We have, um, the venomous fang which we poison infuse. We go with a short sword or any straight sword that has poison moth light on it. And the last one is, I guess we go with the spike Cestus early game for bleed. And then we go Starfist once we get to the capital. There's a few more weapons I use. Like we use 
We're gonna use the broadsword in a second, but that's basically it. Does it matter for me if you watch on YouTube or Twitch? It, it doesn't matter for any reason. Just watch on whatever one you want. It would be worth uh, to get BFT. Oh, you, you can't because the rules of this run, we can't stat boost, so we can't use it. Uh, Black, Form Black Flame Tornado is very good. It's, it's maybe not essential to this run, but it would be... Elden Beast specifically would be way worse without it. The, the rest of the fights, though, without Tornado, Millennia would be worse. And obviously Moog would be worse and stuff, but... It, it's mostly for Elden Beast. The rest of the fights are... Would be fine without it, I think. And see this chat this time. I, I see I see the YouTube chat every time. There's only one time where I I think the the thing I used to see both chats was like bugged and I only saw the Twitch chat and I didn't realize for like three hours, but <laughs> but no, I, I always see YouTube chat at this point. Uh Tago, thanks for the five dollar donation, dude. And thanks for the good luck as well. Moonvale. Yeah, Moonvale is pretty good. It's decent. Okay, we definitely need all of these. I mean, any... Most magic weapons just automatically get a boost because... How many buffs they have that can affect magic damage. It, it's it's, it's kind of unfair. I don't really understand why, but... But think about the ex exclusive buffs to magic damage. You have Terra Magica. No other, no other spell class has anything comparable. Or damage type. And you also have Roger set. Which... I don't think any other damage type has that same thing, right? Isn't it only for magic Ash of War? I could be mistaken, but... So yeah, just kind of automatically... Any magic weapon is, is is good, or better, or has a chance of being better. Ah, welcome. I really re wish the runes size scaled up on the higher NG cycles. It's kind of annoying. I wonder why they didn't do that. Because it basically just makes picking up runes completely useless on NG Plus and beyond. Oh yeah, Crucible Armor, I guess, has the... Yeah, I guess that's true. But it's, it, but it's not as... It's not as good, though. Because it's only for the aspect of the Crucible incantations, right? Axe Talisman work on the... Dark Moon Greatsword projectile? Not on the projectile, I don't think, but it does work on the actual weapon hit part. And then and then Warrior Jar Shard works on the projectile, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I wonder if there's some way I could make this early game more efficient. I I there's a, I really don't think so. Because I kinda need all this stuff. Basically need all this stuff. I have played the Convergence mod, yeah. We put out a video, like last week, I feel like, of my Convergence playthrough recently, but... I think there's going to be another update pretty soon, right? I'll probably play that when it happens.
Uh, how's it going, Domain? Really get new talismans in DLC? I really don't know because in Dark Souls 2 they did that, but in Dark Souls 3 they didn't. Unless I'm mistaken, but. There weren't any new talismans in the Dark Souls 3 DLC. Like, they were just upgraded versions. There's gotta be. There... Oh, yeah, I guess they're... Yeah, Chill Bite Ring. That's true. You're right. Maybe there's a few more, too, actually. Maybe... Maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever... Was there any other new one other than Chill Bite Ring? Uh, Ranger Grim, thanks for the brand new uh, sub, dude. Which way is faster? Never really thought about it. I mean, that way is probably f faster, right? Or I don't know. You also get a lily from this way, though. which I actually kind of want. Uh, my favorite mod is probably Convergence mod. I would have to say, but I haven't... Like, the randomizers are fun too, I guess. Uh, Kind of where the Ring City only has clone rings. Yeah... Yeah, it's kind of a little disappointing, right? Yeah, Dark Souls 2, the DLC definitely added a lot of stuff, man. Like, you got, like, you have so many rings, and the, the of course, the, like, Flynn's ring and all this good stuff. Stone ring and DLC. Yeah, surely, dude. There's no way they can add a stone ring into this game. There's no way. I would love them to, though. If they added a 5% increase poise damage ring... I guess the the only thing that would probably do is just make clubs insane again. Because you guys remember, there's one patch where they make clubs deal 40 poise damage on a charge R2. Would it do anything else other than just add make clubs insane? Clubs are already very good. I'm not sure. Because fiber because they have 39.6 poise damage. So you only need a tiny bit more to get over 40. Well, the physic tier the honestly the, the poise break physic tier is kinda garbage, man. It simply just doesn't last long enough. Like, especially especially if you're just doing a normal play through the game. I, like, it, it's just garbage. It's really just garbage. Because you pop the physic, you go into the fight, you get, like, one hit, and then it just goes away. So, yeah, that is true, but it's just bad. 
How much? How what? What percentage would they need to add in order to make like great swords deal forty poise damage on a charge or two? Because they deal, I think, thirty. What is it, dude? Is it thirty like thirty six point three or something? Is that is that what it is in like Serpent Hunter and stuff? Is it 36.3? Yeah, either way, I mean... If, if they made it... Like a 10%... If they... Uh, if they rounded up, like depending on how the calculation is done... And yeah, if it was a 10% increase, then... And they round up, then yeah, that would make... Like that would be insane, dude. A 10% increased poise damage talisman... I, I actually I don't remember how much Craigblade does. I think it's around I think it's around ten percent, but it's been, it's changed, right? They changed it a couple times. Yeah, Craigblade is very good. I yeah, how does Craigblade work though? With greatsword? Does it make it over forty? Sure I'm picking up the upgrades here. How's it going, uh, Dusky? Uh, I'm not sure if I will, Glebe. We'll see. I started streaming super late today because I was just outside in the nice weather, but we will see. Is there a new YouTube layout? When did that get changed? Wing of a Cell that's most voice damage. No, that's not true. Well, at least I don't think that's true. Depends how you're measuring it. If you're talking poise damage per second, then... On certain bosses, that's probably true. Like, if you're fighting Elden Beast or Placid Dusax, then... I can't really think of anything that deals more poise damage per second uh, on an Ash of War. Because I still think the fists are better, but... Okay, there we go. See, even like right now, it'd be so nice if we just went to go fight Red Wolf, but but we we like it makes no sense to, because we gotta go get gotta go get Lightning Slash. Let's go, to Chris Chris DC. What's up, dude? Unless there's some other, like, would there be some other option? Because there is Flaming Strike. But... Well, if Flaming Strike is closer, there's no doubt I'd be able to get it faster. But it seems, sounds like kind of a hassle to do that. What do I do? Let's go on uh, Iona. I was Red Wolf against Fire. Like, I have to assume Fire's decent, right? It's more just about getting the flat buff on top. How would that work? I would, I would just... Like, I do have to run down that way anyways. Um, but then I would have to go past the bridge, which I don't normally do. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I'll give you the best and and the thing is, too, ever. lightning slash. We run directly past it anyways to get the great bow, which I need. Uh, to boy, thanks for the four month prime sub, dude. Colossal hammer, highest poise damage. Um. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the great club, great club has the highest poise damage on an R two, but I, I was talking poise damage per second because the great club's solid in poise damage per second, but it's certainly no like. Yeah, certainly no Nebula or something, or Starfist. I've done Master on any percent, not all Great Runes. Fire Lightning. Wait, Holy is... Dude, why am I not using Sacred Blade, man? 
Why did I just totally forget about Sacred Blade? Okay, wait a second. But but the thing is, like, it kind of doesn't... I don't know. Let's try it. I still need to get Lightning... What, okay, what about Loretta? What about the uh, Ghost Loretta fight? Because I normally use Lightning there. Holy shit, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> We're on G plus seven. How's it going, Ginger? Because, yeah, I wonder if I could get away with just using Sacred Blade for those fights. Just to speed up the early game a bit. Dude, I, I like the idea a lot. L let's just try it. Yeah, Loretta does... I, I know Lightning is the best on Loretta. But I'm just wondering, if I go Sacred Blade, would that... Would that just work as well? Like, maybe just be slightly worse, but still worth doing it to speed up the early game a lot? So so what is Ghost Loretta's holy resist? Is it is it 20? Yeah, it's 20. So that would be substantially less damage. Also, I kind of need runes <laughs> right now. Either way, I can still I can still go with Sacred Blade for Red Wolf. So okay, so so what that could do for us, what we could do, is instead of going to the forts right away, I can basically rush to get Sacred Blade, do that running section, get Sacred Blade, run straight to Red Wolf, or like run run to the academy, come back to Round Table, buy the Battle Axe. You know what, though? I wonder if just the broadsword... Uh, no, broadsword's not as good. Grab the battle axe. And and basically just go straight to the academy. Thunderbolt, Ash of War. Thunderbolt, Ash of War is not good on, on this run. Was the last time I played my original playthrough character? Like, three weeks after the game came out, probably. Yeah, so I would go to the church, get Sacred Blade, go straight to what Red Wolf with like Axe Talisman. I guess. I'd probably like I'd probably at least want to get the physics stuff. And and you know what? Maybe I'd just run through Fort Height initially. Because there is some potential like I have to fight the knight, and there's some potential of getting hit there probably. And then yeah, after I do that, run straight to basically what we're doing right now. And then just go fight Red Wolf, and then, yeah, we'd probably be, like... Because we, we don't get anything... Oh, we get the Beast Torch in Caleb, though. Yeah, we kind of need that. That's kind of annoying. I wonder if there's some better path I can take, or something. Even still, though, we could just run to the merchant and save running to the other fort. Still kind of... That adds a lot of time, though. But but the, the thing is, we're, we don't... If we're going to use Holy instead, we don't have to run all the way to Altus first. So that'll be like the huge time save early game. It doesn't actually save time overall because I, we're going to be getting no question we're going to be, whoops, did I put on the wrong weapon? No question we're going to be getting lightning slash eventually.
because we, we kind of need it. But let's just go. Let's just see what, how this works here. I do, I do normally use Red Feather, but um, just going Act Talisman isn't really too much worse. What does Split mean? It's basically just a segment on the run. Like, what you see on the right are splits. Just some, like, arbitrary section, but usually it ends with a boss. Sometimes not. How much time? Um, honestly, it'll probably save about 20 minutes getting to Red Wolf every run. As I was saying earlier, it takes usually about 50 minutes for us to get to Red Wolf. So, yeah, that'll be about, you know, 25 minutes of time saved if I get hit on him. Obviously, I don't want to get hit on him, but... Oh, I didn't get uh, Val the Indomitable. Also, got memed here somehow. Val the Indomitable is kind of necessary as well. Good old Sacred Blade, man. Maybe my favorite Ash of War in the game, actually. Could be. But yeah, we need the Beast Torch for these guys. For these, like, three dogs or whatever. Maybe there's a way I could not need that, though. Yeah, just Sacred Blade's so good. Like, you get it right, right away, and it is so strong. Ah, oh, yeah, what's the best way to get here, I wonder? Like, maybe... No, we need to go to Jarbury eventually, too. What is the fastest path to take? Ah, we could use the Golden Seed and stuff. I usually just go this way. So, yeah, it, not going to get Lightning Slash for Red Wolf probably, yeah, probably saves about 15, 20 minutes. Not overall on the run, though, obviously. In fact, it would be slower overall on the run, but just actually getting to the segment. So I, th I think that's definitely the play. As long as this isn't substantially worse. And I would like to do Loretta also with that. But on that fight, that would be quite a bit less damage. So... Like, L Loretta's easier than Red Wolf too, so I'm... I'm That's I I I don't know if I even ever got hit to uh, to Loretta in attempting master at any percent. The boss highest risk of getting hit probably Red Wolf at this point. Red Wolf or Godskin Duo or Godskin Noble. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try it either way on this, and then we can kind of compare it, see which one, see if it's worth just going holy the whole time, and saving the time at the start. I did see that rise, yeah. Wonder how much damage Sacred Blade would do to the uh Death Bird here. Like I mean it's good, but compared to a holy pot, is it actually safe to use? I I think it kinda is. But Sacred Blade doesn't have insane range. It's pretty good, but it's not anything insane I uh, think specter
very worried of hitting these guys when they get stunned and getting getting the like small stagger. Ask Aggie about two Red Wolf on randomizer. Well, Red Wolf's difficulty. I don't have a shield. Huh. How do I not have a shield? Red Wolf's difficulty here is pu almost purely based on the arena. And so getting a Red Wolf in a randomizer, it can be bad depending on where you get him, but. What shield should I use, man? How do I not. Maybe this guy's shield? What shield do I normally use? Shield at Academy Gate? Um. I got the. Where is it? I can't think of it. This one, this one's really light, so I might as well. We also come to this merchant anyways. To the right where you would jump down? Is it like a light shield? Also, Sacred Blade takes a lot more FP than Lightning Slash does. So that's something to think about. What shield? What? I, how come I can't think of what shield I would normally use here? Maybe I just normally use the one I buy from Round Table. Just save here. So let's see the damage here. I don't have red feather as well, though. You know what? I just kind of remembered somehow. Uh, yeah. How much worse is this? Actually, seems a lot worse. It'd be that much worse, though. Maybe Sacred Blade doesn't add just it just doesn't add as much flat damage as Lightning does. Because I think Lightning adds 120. Yeah, this doesn't add nearly as much, actually. Oh, dude. Kind of close. All right, so maybe this isn't the plan, but I, I also though I, I I do usually use Red Feather for this fight, so you we would have to compare the R two damage to get like a fair comparison. That's funny because I I actually got the FP consumption there. Like, I, I got the FP consumption, I went into the animation, but he probably hit me on the perfect frame or something. Lightning is 85? Should we go check the... Or can someone go check the damage from Lightning versus the Holy R2? 
You could also be getting the raining bonus. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Oh. Certainly possible. Yeah, what I could do, though, is just we could go get Red Feather and do it that way. Which is what I was doing before. Oh, that was actually really close. One thing that, that, that is nice about Sacred Blade is that it buffs faster than Lightning Slash does. One cannot step twice in the same river. Elfman, thanks for the uh, thousand bits again, dude. I appreciate that. Doesn't help that we're getting like the worst RNG I've ever seen, also. Okay, so let me go see how much earlier. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. How much was the charge or two at the start of the fight? 255, man. I mean, that's, isn't that basically the same?
it's basically the same, dude. And 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 I mean, Red Feather is better, so it it is the same, which is what you would expect. Like it should be the same. Okay, well then, so that seems like a no-brainer then. I should do this. I just have to watch my FP a bit more. But yeah, we'll we'll for sure do that, I guess. Um, and then now Loretta's gonna be quite a bit worse though. But let's go see anyways. We should I I no, there's no point in... I don't think there's a point in sticking on, with Lightning on Red Wolf. Literally, the only downside is the amount of FP consumed. Oh, yeah, for Loretta. Yeah, for Loretta, it's it's more... I'm leaning more towards Lightning still, but... Uh, Collins, thanks for the 50-month resub, dude. Welcome back, man. I'm still going to try uh, Holy on Loretta this time, but I think Loretta's simple enough where I don't need to worry so much about optimizing the reset time on her. Let me just think, though. What else could I do? The Like, the reason I fight Loretta is for Chilling Mist. There's a lot more stuff later, but it's for early game, it's mainly for Chilling Mist. Yeah, we kind of do have to fight early, I guess. Am I ever going to do another all achievements run? Uh, not no hit, but maybe, maybe the run I'm doing right now, like casual playthrough, probably ever. I'll get all achievements on it. Five. Whoa, that was kind of scuffed. Uh, John, thanks for the five-month resub, dude. Yeah, Loretta, I, I think it's, I think Lightning's the play on Loretta, probably. I mean, maybe I shouldn't even bother testing Holy. I think that's pretty obviously the play. And again, it's not, she's not nearly as tricky as Red Wolf is, so. But yeah, I never considered Sacred Blade though. Even when I was just thinking about it, I thought of I thought of Flame Um Whatever it's called. Uh What the hell is it called, dude? The fl I, I thought of the fire one first. Before Sacred Blade, even though Sacred Blade is like literally right there. Ritual pots are for raw pots. Yeah, Flaming Strike, yeah. Um, it's not for the Frost. It's... I, I don't use Frost Pots, but they, they wouldn't be bad. But we don't really need it for anything. Is there anything else that I am not thinking about? There must be. 
also going to Apollo. I'm sure there's some there's some routing improvements we can make somewhere. I think that's already a big one. I, I think that's pretty huge. The, now the question is, so we're going to go Sacred Blade for sure. The question is, do I go... Oh, this was, this was the shield I was using last time, actually. The question is, do I use Red Feather for Red Wolf, or do I go with Axe Talisman? Because obviously Red Feather's better. Uh, we, we just need a shield to put on the Ash of War. Um, I will do Master Run with the DLC. Like, I think what I'll do... Presumably, they're going to be adding more Great Rune bosses in the DLC, so it'll be all Great Runes with the DLC. And, um... Seventeen actually enough? I do want to try Sacred Blade too, but... Yeah, there's going to be quite a few categories, right? Because already right now there's any percent. There's all great runes, there's all remembrances, and there's all bosses. And so all the those will all exist with the DLC bosses added. And so yeah, I'll probably do... All boss... I'll, I'll probably do an all great runes with DLC run of Master Run at the very least. And then there, there's probably going to be, you know, all great runes base game, which will be this run. Oh, remember it's his base game. All bosses base game as well. So yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot of categories, dude. No. He salvaged it. I did say I was going to try Sacred Blade here. Let's try it. So for Sacred Blade, I think you have to stand down here. Like, it just kind of concerns me a little bit. Yeah, it's not great. Not as good. If I wanted to save some pots, I could go get um, Hello. Sacred Order, right? Sacred Order does apply to the Holy Water pots, I'm pretty sure. But I, I don't think there's really a point. Okay, um, so Deathbird down. So now at this point... We go here. Never figure out frames. Yeah, the frames are very, uh, unintuitive. Is this based on your camera height and the angle your character is facing? Uh, how's it going, Patrick? Can I do Royal Revenant Hitless? Uh, yes, I've practiced their moveset. I know their moveset quite well. But I, I wouldn't be able to consistently do it in the arena that they're in, which is going to be a problem for the Master and All bosses, because there's no heal that you can use on with these requirements. So, I'll have to figure something out, but... Yeah, that could be brutal, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, just just win while not getting hit. Simple. But so so yeah, what what I would do with the route I'm gonna change to, we would do um, get the Fort Faroth medallion now, and then just save that little bit of time getting to Red Wolf, and then this is probably when I would usually get to Red Wolf. And so I I really like how this is gonna improve this man. I think this is nice. Just save a bit of time. Save some reset time early while not also adding almost any time to the run. Probably maximum adds like a minute, so. I do well, I do watch both chats, yeah, but obviously I miss stuff. Especially when I'm doing a run where I gotta like focus on things. Maybe, I miss a lot maybe of things. I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Ray, thanks for the brand new prime sub. It was very, really satisfying when I say, how's it going? Really? <laughs> I've not heard that before. What is worse, the Revenants in Halig Tree or the one Banished Knight? Um, you know what? The Revenants aren't, aren't even that bad. If you know where they are. Because I went through Halig Tree recently. I think it was on the Dagger Run, maybe. And I was going down there. Or, I, I forget what playthrough was, but... Yeah, just simply take them out one by one. Yeah, you can heal the revenants, but what I was saying, for the for the master on all bosses, there's no heal that I'm aware of that can be used with these stats that works on a revenant. So that, like that's I, I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm just I'm leaving that to my future self, I guess. Because I've simply no idea. Maybe there's some good strat for him. Have I seen the Hob Rando? I have not seen that. Is it? Did he put out a video, or is it just a like on stream? DLC playthrough. Well, we'll see. I started my stream super late. I'll, I'll start my stream earlier tomorrow, you guys. Surely, because the last couple days I've started late, and I guess last last. I did stream, like, a normal amount last night because, I don't know, I just streamed later. But today probably will be a shorter stream. Uh, also, have I done the Google Doc Rune Route Calculator? I have not used that. I think I've heard... Wait, I, I think I've... Oh, oh, you're asking me about... Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. No, I haven't done that yet. You're saying what I was talking about a few months ago with the weapon across no hit runs, like mapping out how many runes I get so that I can just practice more easily. I have not done that, but when I, when I go back to do more request, which we can do at any point, um, I should do that if I'm not lazy, but <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy sometimes. Find it difficult not to spec into faith. Yeah, I mean it's pretty nice, right? Because with most most of the classes, all you need is an extra couple of faith, so you can just grab the faith talisman, and then you could get the basic heal from round table, and then that's that's all you need, right? You don't need any. The more powerful the heal doesn't change how much damage. It always does around sixty percent. So yeah, you just go and just. Just do that. Like, just get the the two finger heirloom, which is right at the start of Liurnia. Go to round table, buy the heal, and you just go kill him. Don't even need to level up any faith. Is there a class that starts below seven faith? I'm sure there is, but all you need is seven faith. Holy ground? I honestly don't know. I I hope it does, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'll, I'll have to test out all that stuff. Eventually. Or someone will test it before. Or I'm sure people already know, but... Alright, so here's where we get Lightning Slash. I 
jump on the tops of the tents here because this prevents the aggro. Yeah, I did get hit on Red Wolf, and hopefully we don't have to get used to that because by the time I'm ready to start attempting this, I will be better at Red Wolf than right now. I'm decent at the boss, but the the frame trap avoidant strat with Vow the Indomitable is still kind of new to me. Like, I haven't used it that much. And so I got hit earlier because I was just... I was literally probably one frame late on my Vow the Indomitable, so... I got hit by the, the dash. I really need more mushrooms, man. Gotta make sure I, I go to pick extra mushrooms up. Because it takes so many of the... Take so many holy pots to kill the death burn. I don't actually have to throw two there. I'm not sure why I did. Yeah, we could we could talk to Bach. He's a little bit out of the way though, slightly. Okay, so we got that. Let's go here. Let's go on triple ace. Yeah, even even the NG plus seven scarabs are pretty tanky, yeah. Yep. At least it's nothing compared to the fist only scarabs, which actually took a good like four minutes to kill. 25 faith is golden vow. Yeah, 25 faith is Golden Vow, and then you need, I think, 33 for Howl, but it's so easy to stat boost in this game that you can use you can use Howl while still being at... I mean, it's very easy to use Howl at base faith, right? Craft a Blade plus um, Two Finger Heirloom, that's already 10 levels, plus Godric is 15 levels, plus Faith tier is 25 levels, so... So literally any character with those items can cast any like can cast Howl right away. Uh William, how's it going, dude? Um, I'm I'm not sure how many attempts it was, but I think I killed Millennia in about thirty to forty five minutes or so. I I had a really good build for her though, so it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't mean that I'm just like better at the game or something. It was mostly mostly just because I had a, basically an optimized build for her, which I, I didn't realize it, it was going into the fight, but it was Bloodhound Step on cross... I had a cross Naginata and a Blood Pike bleed build. And I just... I had Bloodhound Step, so... And this, this was like pre-nerf Bloodhound Step, so I was able to just mitigate most of the damage from Waterfowl by just using it. And so, yeah, I, I killed her pretty fast because of that. I'm sure if I had gone into the fight with, like, paired Colossals, I probably would have been stuck there as long as everybody else. Yeah, back when Bloodhound set was decent. To be fair, it's still not terrible, but... For PvE... I can't really think of where... I would want to use it. Maybe on some of the meme attacks, like the Estelle Meteorites, or something. But it only has 16 iframes now, right? I mean, 16 is still good. It still has the distance, but it's not... I don't know. Maybe I'm underrating it. Because of how good it used to be. No, I, I didn't find out myself how to dodge Waterfowl. I saw somebody do it. And then I just learned it.
Uh, what was the hardest boss my first playthrough? It was definitely Moog because I went into him with like a pl I, I literally had a plus six spear when I fought Moog. The fight was literally longer on my first playthrough when I killed him compared to this kill we get on this run. It's actually a longer kill. Um, we have Red Feather. I didn't put Bloody Slash on anything. But I, I had so much fun fighting him, dude. He was he was my favorite boss in my first playthrough, probably. Him and Malaketh. And I didn't buy any of the stuff from Roundtable yet. And yeah, it was just because I, I actually had to learn his moveset properly. Yeah, I, I don't know how long it took me. It probably took at least an hour and a half to kill him. So it took me a, a decent amount of time. Okay, so let's put Bloody Slash on this one. Good for now. But yeah, Moog, Moog's a fun fight. I, I still think he's a really fun fight. He's very fun on this playthrough too, except that the only thing I don't like about him is how kind of his fire attack can interact, or his fire spread in phase two can interact with the arena in a weird way, and you can just get memed by it. Like, he can just swing, and it's directly at your feet, even though you're point blank because of the, like, some, I don't know, some weird angle in the arena or something. That is certainly annoying uh, for this run, specifically. Um, I, I'm not high on Rikard at all. I kind of forgot. I think I normally do our ones on that one now. Oh boy. That's not a good idea. Uh, Jad, thanks for the six-month prime sub, dude. Learn and then win, dude.
Yeah, this is definitely not a fight I would want to sacrifice 20% damage. Because it's already a long fight, as it is. Oh my... F Dude, what the... F what are you doing, you shitty boss? What even was that? I actually nearly got just handcuffed by it, dude. <laughs> like... Spam meta. actually really scary that she can do that. I haven't seen her do that before. Like, run... Do the running jumps towards you while having the double glint blades out. Not such a nice combo. I don't think we got a single stun there somehow. It's because it's because it's just atrocious RNG. She just kept spamming, dude. You just couldn't not keep spamming. Glimp blade, glimp blade, glimp blade. Recently figured out how to fight Bellbearing Hunters, and they've gone from one of your least favorites to actually enjoyable. I think they're really cool, but being able to cheese them so badly makes them not as cool. Like, the, just the shield loop. I, I still think they're cool, though. Gonna play on the casual character? I, I, I might. I actually might, dude. I'm, maybe. We'll see. We will see. The most important thing against the bell bearing hunters is you simply have to stay close to them. That is the most important thing. And that's why some people get just get destroyed by them because usually your first instinct is to run away from stuff. So you are not gonna have a good time running away from a bell bearing hunter. Uh, what would I say is the most important thing to do before the DLC drops as someone who's platinum the game? I I honestly don't know about that. For me, it's just complete every quest line, probably mostly, or just do things in the game that I haven't done yet. That are like normal things to do, not like a no hit run, but do all the quest lines would be an example because I haven't done all the quest lines ever. Um, Like there's some that I've never even... I don't know. I've never done in any circumstance ever, so. But I don't know if there really is 
so, like one thing that you need to do. Just gonna hit this grace. But yeah, what I'm what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna probably try to get every weapon in the game and upgrade it to plus twenty four, plus nine. That was not the correct path. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna complete every quest line on that character, and then I'm also going to try to get every weapon upgraded. Yeah, that will take a ton of work, but I think it'll be fun, dude. I think it'll be fun. So, yeah, that's that's my plan. Yeah, all quests. I, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure about armors. I don't really care about armor as much, but I probably should. Because we might as well just be complete, right? Um, But, yeah, every weapon, though, for sure. Yeah, I, I'm gonna break. There's, there's no doubt I'm gonna break a quest, but I don't know. Stat distribution will be mostly just equal, at least on the damaging stats, just so I can use everything I want. But yeah, I might, I might go to 150, or, or maybe even a bit higher, just. Just so that I make sure my stat spread is good enough to basically use anything I want. No, actually, I think I actually will farm it, though. I actually might. Like, usually when I... Usually when I do these runs and I, you know, like, weapon only, and I go to get some dagger that's a 5% drop rate, I don't farm it. I just drop it for myself, but... On this character, I kind of want to go, like, full legit character. At least I think I do. Full legit character. Yeah, it, it, if you don't want to do all that, which makes a lot of sense, but you still want to use everything, I I would definitely recommend just, yeah, using Cheat Engine to do it. Or I'm sure there's some save files. Like Dark Souls 3, there used to be save files that you could just download and you'd be able to just have everything and have like, you know, 99 trillion runes or something. Really windy outside, man. Jesus. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, vodka. Thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Unique weapons have unique skills. That's a good... Yeah, that's... I, I hope so, too. You're right. It, it does maybe, really suck maybe. when you get a weapon that... I'll give you the best nut ever. Isn't really good. <laughs> or, or Wait, okay. So, we'll go, like, here... I believe. Yeah, there's certain weapons that are just simply garbage because you can't swap the Ash of War on them. And I think the... I forget what the Rot Straight Sword is. The Crystal... Crystal... Straight Sword or something. That's a weapon that is trash, but it honestly would have been really good if you could put even just Square Off on it. And even though it's, it's the weak version of Rot, it still would have been... It's just a straight sword that has rot on it that you can put some better Ash of War on. Gonna merge the Minecraft maybe, worlds? I don't know. Maybe. Like, I might, I guess. I've thought about it a little bit. Uh, Dino Man, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude.
Let's get some more mushrooms here. Yeah, and, and the Ansper, yeah, on the other hand, the Ansper is very good because you can change the Ash of War on it. It probably, what does it have on it normally? Is it repeating thrust or something? Like, kind of not that good of an Ash of War. It's okay, but it's not great. Yeah, the fact that you can put an Ash of War on it means that you can add Maybe, other status really effects. Unusual. You can put, like, Chilling Mist ever. on it. Like, you can make it just insane, dude. Go with the triple... Triple uh, status oh effect build. Oh, my God, dude! <laughs> AutoZone, thanks so for the two shit. more gifted subs, dude. That is so shit. Make sure you thank uh, AutoZone if you got a sub right there. Also, Prod of G, thanks for the oh brand new sub. God. And Mr. Maybe, maybe Pat, Pat Yee, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Ever. Yeah, so with those, with those like, Crystal Rotten Swords or whatever, even though they're the weak version of Rot, which maybe, sucks, maybe if you could put an Ash of War on it, add some ever. more statuses onto it, all of a sudden, it'd be a great weapon. And same with the Spear. Like, those would be insanely good weapons if you could do that. But, I can't remember. Are they somber or not? I can't remember, can't maybe, remember if they're maybe. somber or not, but... I'll give you the, best the, the, the Great Club's another one where... The Ash of War on it definitely isn't bad, but it's a smithing stone weapon that can't have the Ash of War swapped. And it'd be so much better if you could swap the Ash of War, because then you could go Crag Blade, you could go Knight's Resolve. And then you also just have the hardest hitting poise damage R2 in the game. So like, that would have been kind of nice. Make a few of these. Uh, Hoss, Hosinka, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub, and Malog, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub as well. So yeah, I think for a somber weapon, a lot of the somber weapons are just bad because you can't swap the Ash of War. Um... So, so they need to have a, a very unique Ash of War on it. That makes up for not having the versatility that the Smithing Stone weapons have. And it's something like Darkmoon Greatsword definitely has that. Or... Um... Like, I, I mean, how many weapons? Like, Death's Poker probably has that. Uh, Common Dio, thanks for the donation as well, dude. I appreciate that. Okay, so... How do I do this normally? Sleep. Usually get sleep. Yeah, Serpent Hunter... I, I mean... Serpent Hunter is an interesting weapon because it's a really good, like, no-hit and speedrun weapon with the, the big R2 hits, but it's really not that good of a weapon, though. It's not versatile at all. It just it hits very hard, and that's it. So I don't know if I'd throw Serpent Hunter in the same category as Dark Moon Greatsword. I just realized, I think I normally throw that Kukri after.
Uh, this is not... I mean, we're, we're doing a full run-through, but I did get hit earlier. Like, if you see on the splits the now column at the bottom, total one, that like that's how many hits I've taken. The, uh, the goal here was to do a full run-through again anyway, so... Not quite at the point where I'm ready to start attempting, I don't think. But we're, I, I'm, I'm very close. Uh, Vainglorious Seer, thanks for the donation as well. Thanks, dude. Uh, Red Wolf, I just, I got, yeah, it was the frame trap combo, but my uh, Vow the Indomitable was literally like one frame late. And so I, the FP got consumed and I, I went into the animation, but he hit me like, like I said, probably one frame before I actually got the iframe. So I got to practice that timing a bit more clearly. Okay, this is correct. No, it was a legit hit. Like, I, if I had timed it better, I wouldn't have gotten hit. Champions, welcome. The stars of aligned. The festival. Uh, the festival. But now. Not sure how much red feather really does here, but make a save. The reason I go over here is because, first of all, you want to fight Redan on a flat terrain. But also, all these little, like, these things on the ground, like, especially the, the big ones, his lightning, or whatever it is, like, the gravity wave in phase two can get stuck on it when you're trying to jump over it. And then you get memed, basically. I wish it went in on this, I guess. So it gets stuck when you're jumping, and since it gets stuck, you're like, you know, you try to jump, but it doesn't go underneath you, and so you get clipped. Maybe, maybe I'm the best nut ever. Oh, Is that frost? There we go. And I could, I, I could very easily just cheese him in phase two, but I, I usually don't. Maybe I should start doing that just to speed it up. But I, I kind of don't like cheesing him though.
Yeah, I don't like where I am right now. Oh. How the fuck? I could throw in a frost in phase 2. I could throw in 2 probably, but it makes it it makes them very hard to see. So that's why I don't, but it makes the fight less optimized. Maybe I just need to get over it, dude. Just, I, I don't like how hard he is to see. Uh, we are two idiots. Thanks for the uh, five month prime sub. His delayed attacks are annoying. I, I don't, I don't have an issue with them, dude. I don't really have an issue with the mega delay attacks. I, I personally have way more of an issue with attacks that just zone you out. And, and when you think about which one is more engaging, on one hand, you have an attack where, you know, you need to... Like, that, that big delay attack he does, you can't really... I, I guess you kind of can react to it, but it's mostly just about m memorizing how long it takes and getting the tempo in your head. But zoning attacks such as Estelle's, like, quadruple AoE and... You know, like, so many attacks in the game. Like, even Godfrey's big AoEs or Horlu in Phase 2. Where you have to... You just have to evacuate the area. They look cool, but it's not fun at all. You just run away. There's not actually any, like, bot that has to go on during that. So, I, I easily would take delay attacks. And, and people get frustrated by them on, on normal playthroughs because... You know, a lot of other attacks you can just kind of react to and... Just try to, you know, just try to dodge by purely reacting, but delay attacks, you kind of can't do that, and so it gets frustrating when you get smacked by it. It's like, it looks kind of stupid. But I, I definitely prefer delay attacks over zoning attacks, all like, all day long. And, it's, and, and, there, and the thing is, too, a lot of the delay attacks that happen, for instance, on Radagon... His his delayed, uh, let's say his grab. That's maybe his most delayed attack. I'm not sure. You can get extra hits in there, right? So if you're, if you're, um, like, aware enough to know what's happening, and you recognize the attack, you can get delay attacks in and then roll. And I think that's per. I think that's really fun too. So. Yeah, you can strafe the grab, but actually rolling is better if you're going for, like, pure punish, I think. Because on the case with this run, if I strafe the grab, I only get probably, like, three hits maximum. If I if I attack during the grab, I get five, so. Yeah, on Redan, I'm not really sure if... Uh, I'm really sure if you have the option to punish him while he's doing it. I'm sure you can, but he's... The, the problem more with him is that he's so big that uh, he's so big that he's like far away from you and so it's probably harder to punish that but oh yeah I should give the mimic starlight shards dude it's actually a decent idea to do that Yeah, we, we don't need mushrooms much anymore. It, it's it's I, it's mostly just for the start of the run that I was saying that. It's for the death bird, and then we need a few sleep, but... What's the technician call that messed up the elevator? Wrong on many levels. We, we have enough mushrooms now. There's a few bulk pickups I do. Right before Redan's Arena, there's like a five pickup, and then... 
going to lane Dell, there's like an eight pick up there. Um, I missed a donation, dude. Let me see it. GG Mimic, dude. Uh, you have to pretend laughing. Thanks so much for the, the 1337, dude. Um, what's a technician called that messed up the elevator? Wrong on many levels. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. That's a brutal joke. Man, have you guys noticed it's staying it's staying brighter a lot later now here. It's it's 5 p.m. and it's and it's overcast and it's still still bright out. It's kind of it's convenient when I'm streaming cuz it's kind of annoying having to change my my like brightness all the time or the I don't know. How much difference would Red Feather make on Millennia level one NG plus seven? Well, it, it's hard to not talk about percentages because it's ten percent more damage. So you would think the fight would be ten percent faster, right? As long as you're not getting hit. But it depends. Yeah. So like level one NG plus seven. The, the impact of Red Feather would be felt more than if you're doing just a normal... Let's say you're doing an optimized no-hit run build with Starfist, and you're like, okay, do I use Red Feather, or do I use... Um... Or do I use Ritual Sword? That fight normally lasts, like, a couple... Like, maximum a minute and a half. Right, so even a 10% boost on that... Is basically nothing. Um, you're, you're saving like nine seconds, right? I guess. But when you're doing level one NG plus seven, the fight's going to be substantially longer. And so you're going to, even though the percentage is the same, you're still going to be saving more time. So. So yeah, I think it's worth it. If, if you're trying to no hit, then it would for sure be worth it. But if you're not trying to no hit, obviously not. Oh, whoops. Ah, oh, what a mistake. <laughs> I wonder if I normally do the Renny thing after I kill Loretta. The ball is just wrecking them, dude. Yeah, I probably should have done this earlier. Although, I, I don't know, actually. Thou must have though I have... Intrigue. Mm. Wilt thou end? I am the will that I might want well. Oops. Mm. Thou must have though I have an intrigue. Mm. Wilt thou end? I am the will that I might well. I have word to end. But I require I antis. How's it going, bro man? Yes, I am. I don't know what it is, but since we I are. Uh, I reside in. You've defeated a grand pleasure, Karian Royal. I. Well, I. Technically, we don't need Finger Slayer Blade. But I think I, I think I was just getting it because it 
I don't know. It's kind of faster than me doing the skip usually. It's usually I miss the skip a few times, but. You can say the DLC trailer was mesmerizing. <laughs> That's actually really good, dude. That's a really good one. Uh, the skip, you, you can just, you can skip into the, I forget what the, the tower is called that has the portal, but you can jump on a tree. The one that gets opened up after you bring your back finger slayer blade. Uh, okay, let's go get the great rune. Uh, the skip is pretty tricky, yeah. It's probably, you're probably better off just, I mean, uh, if you're killing Redan, you're better off just getting a finger slayer blade, but if not, then I think you probably spent a couple hours learning it. Maybe not even a couple hours, I don't know. It's just every time I go to do the skip, it's been like months since I did it last, and so I forget, and then I have to like relearn it, basically. I did use it quite a bit during the run requests. Um, I guess I can just jump back up from here. Ah, nice one. Uh, what's up, Damien? Is the motive of this run just content? Uh, no. <laughs> That's funny. It's definitely not. No, this, uh, this, I, I'm simply, every single run I do is simply just because I want to do the run. That's it. So, there's, there's nothing more to it than that. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Always about the money, dude. <laughs> True. But the way you know that's actually true is just simply because or that I'm I'm just doing this run cuz I want to is because I've been doing runs like these maybe, for years, maybe. man. I'll well before not ever. Well before I had any amount of like YouTube viewership at least. It's just fun to stream and it's fun to do no hit runs, that's it. Uh yes I'm evil. Thanks for the four month prime sub, dude. Flex on peasants who need more tries. <laughs> yeah, that's sure that's also definitely why. You're right. You you guys have caught me red handed, dude. It's all about the money and all about flexing on people. Clearly. That is clearly why. <laughs> you YouTube shorts money. <laughs> yeah, also true. What got me into challenge runs? I saw Faraz Khan's no hit of DS3. That is what what did it. I saw it. I wanted to see how I would do myself, and that was it. And it, well, I also I also started watching Squilla on on Twitch as well, which was part of it. Oh my god, I almost I almost went out too quickly there. I don't think I did though. Nearly, nearly left too early. I'm not in love. You're first. Mm. All right, things know your bloody eye. Oh. oh. I wonder why he actually oh, took the necklace. Um, surely in our lore through, he'll tell. Never met me. Make good mate. I'll be seeing you. Um, I I've definitely seen his first no hit, like Hobbs, but I, I, I had I didn't even know about Dark Souls games when that actually happened. That was in. That was in 2015, right? So yeah, at that, at that point, I was definitely not playing Dark Souls games. I had no, I had no idea what they even were. Please stop, brave tarnished. You will only tire 
by striking this barrier. I s the Thodleys. Thank you, kind. Did I forget? I am. I see you are very to study such. God forbid me land next to you. Unforgivable. Anyone's, if anyone's wondering the reason why we go down to the mimic, is if if we know this, if we do the finger slayer blade skip to get to the portal, which we use the portal to go down to Lake of Rot, by the way, for rot pots and rot grease, then there's seemingly no reason to go down and kill the mimic. But the reason why we do it is simply because there's the black wet blade down there. And when you poison it, so black wet blade gives you poison infusion. Um, <laughs> wait, I just thought about something, but, <clears throat> but yeah, when you poison infuse the, uh, venomous fang, so, so they have deadly poison on them, which lasts for 30 seconds and like it just deals more damage, but it's only for 30 seconds. That's the whole point of it. But if you poison infuse, then they deal the same damage as deadly poison, but for 90 seconds. But I was just thinking, is there an Ash of War that can go on this that's just a poison? A poison Ash of War? I don't think so, right? I must have thought about this. I don't I don't think so. I don't think there's one. I must have thought about it. Surely. But yeah, so that's why, and it, it's definitely worth um, getting that extra, like, think about how big that is, right? An extra 60 seconds on a boss like Fire Giant or Godskin Duo. Warrior, perhaps you, will you do I yeah, I was just thinking, does Poisonous Mist actually, can it go on a claw? Let me just, uh, we, we get this eventually anyways, let me, I, I would feel like such an idiot if this is, if this can actually go on this. But we do use this later, so. Not really wasting any time here. But I must have checked if there's any poison Ash of Wars that can go on this. It cannot go on claws. Oh! Huge mistake. Anyways, like I said, I, I probably checked that. I'm not poison rot. So Ansper, this this challenge requires us to not use any stat boosting. So we have to be in at 10 in every stat. Ansper Rapier cannot be wielded at base level one stat, so that's why. According to the wiki, it can. Doesn't look like it. But is there any... I, I, I would have checked this 100%, dude. This is too important to not check, but... Let me just search up again. Why is the site not loading? Extra life is slow today, you guys. So, does it does it say? Yeah, so there's these two. Is that it? Like, is that... Are those the only two poison Ash of Wars? I think so. Yeah, these are the only two. So... It's unfortunate, though, because that could save us a lot of time if that was actually... if there was another one, but... Let's go on, Kaza. Okay, remember when I said we were good on mushrooms? <laughs> we are definitely not good on mushrooms. 
Oh shit, I don't have the beast torch out. We actually, we we're fine, because I already had sleep pots made. Uh, we do use black flame later, but there's no black flame that's available at this point of the game that we can use. Because there's only, there's only... The noble belly one, like, is there, is there... Because there's black flame tornado, which obviously we use, but... Isn't there another one? Another black flame ash of war? But it's, it's not good though, I don't think. Uh, RL1 means level 1. So so level 1 and no leveling. What's up, uh, Nerf Clash? How's it going, dude? Yeah, there's, there's the normal presence in, incantation. Do I die from this? It's not. Yeah, an MRRL time. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe, of course, the best not ever. If you would have to punish someone by no hitting a boss, except Millennia, who would it be? Literally asking for a friend. Um, what build? It depends what build they have, what build they're allowed. But, uh, what's the build? I need to know the build first. <laughs> because it, that drastically changes it. Oh, but in curse, thanks for the two month reset, though. Level one Bloodhound Fang. Okay, so. Level one Bloodhound Fang. Oh, shit, really? Hmm. Like, that's, I don't know, dude. That's actually tough. I immediately think of, like, Fire Giant being bad. But, you know, Duo Gargs probably would suck too. But with a plus 10, even at level 1, wouldn't be too bad. It fucking Nox Duo would... You said no hit, right? <laughs> that fucking Nox Duo would be so bad. But they die so quick. You'd only need to get, like, one or two hits off before they died. I almost got hit by that because of the fucking... Wall. <laughs> Send him to right card. <laughs> yeah, that would be the hardest. You're right. You got it. Right card, no hit. Level one, Bloodhound Fang only. Oh, that would be just pain. What was that fucking roll? Oh my... Dude, I thought... I was just... I don't even know what I was thinking right there. I wasn't thinking. That was the worst roll I've ever seen. Expecting the charge soon. I might die here. Oh. My god, that was fucking close. Lead? Like, what, what should I have even done in that situation, dude? I don't know. I say I I lived, but we are so close to the wall. I don't know. I don't know what I should have done. I 
I think I just need to not commit to going into that corner so soon, because I knew the roll was coming. But I should have probably baited out another attack first while being closer instead of running directly into the corner. Because that's exactly what I want. I want... I want Noble to go into that corner so I can sleep again. That's kind of the ideal situation. I simply reset if I died. Maybe. Uh, the hit was on, uh... Uh, the hit was on Red Wolf. Do I normally... I, I don't... I don't sleep or anything here, right? I just go in. I think it's Konami. Any day now, buddy. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, you idiot. This is crazy. 
I'm not, I haven't I haven't seen him go this long. Without doing three uh three of the attacks we need. There we go. Finally. So we got one follow up. Miss. Uh, this is this is just like a practice run, uh, Sauron. Like I, I didn't I didn't start up this run in like with the idea of getting it. Like, this is just a no reset run, like basically a practice run. <laughs> Who turned on the microwave? <laughs> Uh, what's up, Waffle Shark? So I harbor you, even he would any road that we may we hunted and with every You wish some of the strong bosses like Godfrey or Gideon Wait, Godfrey, Sir Gideon, and Commander O'Neill. I mean, I guess it'd be cool to to get more different abilities. If that's what you mean, yeah. Or m more different buffs that you could use with great runes. I, I think that'd be cool. Even though I, I don't think it would make sense that at least Gideon has one, but it wouldn't really make sense that Godfrey has one either, like lore-wise, but who cares about lore anyways, dude? <laughs> Well, I probably won't stream for too much longer today. I don't think we're going to get through the rest of this run. A <laughs> coward. Yeah, we got it. We do have to know why he stole Rhea's necklace. That's that's actually true. Yeah, short, short stream today, because I, earlier today I was just, I was going outside and started pretty late. Yeah, we, we do the same cheese, Kellen. Exact same one. Yeah, because it's very warm here today, so... Lore reveal, he's simply a thief. Yeah, I guess so. But who, like, what thief would just steal it and then just set up shop right next to her? Right next to the person you stole something from? I have played Liza P, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun game. A Souls-like game, probably, that I've played. Yeah, true. He does have the iron balls. That's a good point.
At first I was doing this with square off. And every time I was so close to just running myself off the ledge. Every single time. I don't think I ever did it though. But, but then I was like, oh yeah, I could just use the club. Club's good poise damage. Gonna start reading your own fake chats. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Yeah, I think I missed something. Oh, you want to be a streamer, but you find it hard to be entertaining with nobody in chat. Um, I don't know, dude. I, whenever... Like, what, I, what I've always done is just talked about what I'm doing. But I don't think... It depends what you're trying to do, right? If you're... It depends the, what you're streaming. But yeah, when, I, when I've done no hit runs, I always just... I've just talked about um, like what I'm what I'm doing, like what I'm thinking about coming into a boss fight, all that stuff. That's always what I what I've done. I, I don't I don't know if that's the best strategy for getting viewers or something, but I I haven't really thought too much about what the best strategy actually is. I'm sure someone someone else I'm sure there's lots of other people who could have a better answer for that, but That's just what I've done. It, it you know what? It actually is a lot different. Now that I think about it too, like it, it's it's certainly a lot different. I kind of take it for granted now at this point, I guess actually. We should shoot that further to the left. Yeah, it's, it's saying stuff like that, right? What I just said. I still do it, but... but yeah, when you're doing no hit runs, I... I don't have any experience doing anything else, but I find it very easy to talk about stuff when I'm doing no-hit runs, I think. Just random thoughts I have in my head about some routing thing or anything like that, I just say it. Hot <laughs> time stream when? It's so random, dude. Is the viewer count combined or separate? Uh, I... What do you mean? I don't know what that means. Yeah, talking about Esger lore. Yeah, but it'd be kind of weird to just talk about that. I, I don't know. That's not something I would talk about unless I had people responding maybe, to it. Maybe Probably. Like, if I was just streaming, ever. like, two, two or three years ago or something when... Or, you know... Maybe more than that. Like four years ago, I wouldn't have just talked about that randomly, probably. But maybe, I I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Nuggy, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Finding myself making comments on IRL activities? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Not even close. No, I'm simply a normal person. And that's it. I do normal things. I don't randomly talk to myself about something as if I'm streaming.
but yeah, I guess there, there was also lots of times where I just just listen to the music. I'm I, I've never thought I've never thought about before. Um, at least for myself, I've thought about when people ask me questions like, "Oh yeah, what's the best strategy to do this while streaming or something?" That's when I think about it, but I've never thought about it for myself. But yeah, a lot of times I just sit there and I just listen to music, and then <laughs> you know, like I've always played music while streaming, so. Thanks, Adam. I'm not even dropping Twitch words. You mean... You mean like saying an emote or something? Fortunately, I've never done that. But yeah, it's probably it's probably easier when, when you're actually focusing on something and you have a goal in mind. It's probably easier to stream than if you're... Like, what, what would be the alternative, I guess? If you're some... I, I don't even know, man. If you're, like, a react... You're trying to be a react streamer or something. I, I, I just don't know. Or, I, I okay, I guess I think it would be harder if you're just trying to be a variety streamer and you're just playing, playing any game you want to play. I think it'd probably be much harder to to do that while doing variety streaming because you, you know you're trying to pay attention to the game or, or, or whatever at the same time as trying to think of things that you could say to keep it entertaining i think that'd be a lot harder but i have zero experience doing that so i, I have no idea but yeah that'd probably be quite a bit harder i really should have rebuffed there man huge mistake But usually my advice, though, if people are starting streaming, is just the first, the most important thing is that you just like, you, you stream because you like streaming. That's basically it. Like, so I, I wouldn't even really, personally, I wouldn't even worry about trying to, uh, be entertaining personally but e even though that's not a good strategy for trying to become a streamer but i don't know you just got to find the right balance i think i can't remember if i can buff on these or not oh my god the quadruple dude and i'm not even buffed not prepared for it The stairs scare me with his stomps because you can get memed by them. I'm going to bring him out. This is so garbage. Worst positioning ever. Goes right back to the stair, of course. Yeah. Right back to the wall. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we should be getting a stun, I feel like, here. Oh, I just don't even know how I know. I just somehow know. When you've played the game enough, you just you start to get a feeling when something's about to happen. I couldn't even explain how. I'm sure other no-hit runners have the same thing, where you just... You can just tell. Top three worst bosses. Uh, Gideon... Godskin duo. 
and probably like Bed of Chaos or something. Oh, shit, I forgot about the assassin there. Whoops. Full blown autopilot here. Completely forgot. No, I don't count poise at all. There, there's no point in, in counting poise here. It's too much effort. Too much... Too much, like, conscious thought during the boss fight, but... Let's go on CBD. Well, Osiris charge, you have to just assume it's gonna happen. So, it's not quite the same. It's more just, like, when stuns are gonna happen. I just use a standard Xbox controller. Standard Xbox One controller, and I do claw grip. I would recommend not doing that, but... Yeah, it's just a subconscious thing where it's, you know, somehow my brain follows the number of hits and it just, I get a feeling whenever something's going to happen, like a stun. No, I don't have paddles. Need to practice this fight more. The fights have not really been super clean. So set up red feather too. Well, claw grip's just not good for your hands, so I would recommend getting used to paddles if you have them available. Just it's just bad for your hands, right? Maybe, maybe. I'll give you the best nut ever. I do a charge or two there. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I was gonna, I was, I was trying to swap to uh, the Moth Flight there. That was actually a really good fight right there. A solid RNG. Uh, Arbeck, thanks for the brand new prime set, by the way. Uh, I am in light load, yes. Pretty important on no hit runs. On some fights, at least. Especially like Millennia. Millennia is probably the biggest one. Well, this is, I mean, this is actually solid so far. 
We've now hit all the any percent related stuff. At this point. I don't mind this. Poison Moth DS2 reference? Maybe, dude. Never thought about that. I got I got hit on Red Wolf. So. Oops. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how long this run is. I, I haven't done any proper full runs of it where I'm... I Where I've actually paid attention to how long it is. It, it's probably... It, it's pretty long, as you can tell. I mean, we're in game time. We're at 2 hours 10 minutes right now. I think my any percent was around 3.5 hours or something like that. So I think this run's probably... It's probably around five, honestly. Pretty long. Maybe it's maybe it's like four and a half. But yeah, just long because there's there's a lot of a lot of setup and a lot of ashes of wars we have to grab. Obviously, the boss fights take a bit longer too, especially the later ones, like Millennia, Fire Giant. Godskin duo takes forever. I I don't have a Fia's champ strat. This is this is all great runes, so we don't have to fight Fortis Axe, but I don't know what we're gonna do for them on all bosses if I eventually do that. Yeah, all the all bosses master run though is just gonna be an insane fucking run, dude. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Like, there's no guarantee that I can actually do it. There's so many bosses that I can think of being problems. So, I don't know, man. So many bosses. The unfortunate part about this game compared to something like Dark Souls 3 where you, you look at Dark Souls 3 and, and sure, there's there's Half-Light and there's Deacons where you need to have you need to have a strat for them, right? That's it, though, really. There's, am I missing anyone? I guess maybe Gravetender, but even Gravetender, you could just be good enough to fight them and, and win. But in the... Like, I guess the, the less strats you need to beat bosses, the better for a run like this, because that means they're like a fair balanced boss fight that you can realistically beat with basically any amount of damage or damage that's available. But yeah, in this game, there's so many, dude. There's such an absurd amount of bosses that are going to require not a direct fight or just some, some strat that you can cheese them with or something like that. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, Wolfgang, you might be right, dude. Certainly possible. This run, this run's possible though, at least. But yeah, as soon as you start introducing, um, Garus and Fius champions and duo Gargs and all the NPC, other NPC fights, and like, I don't know, we have strats for some of them, right? We have a strat for Esger. So that's a good start. There's there's sort of a strat for gargs, but not not really. I, I don't think it. I I'm not sure if it'll be reliable enough to use on all boss master run. But it's basically you sit in the corner and you're able to aggro only one at a time. But it's it's not a very good strat to be honest. Yo, Brandon Sargent, thanks for the, the $100, dude. 
<laughs> that's insane, man. Um, thanks so much, dude. Taking Sword of Night Flame. Well, so what I'm going to do, I want to get every weapon in the game on my character, and I want to upgrade all of them. So that's that's my plan. There's not like a specific weapon, but, but yeah, thanks so much, dude. That's insane. <laughs> Strap for Soldier Godric. Simply backstab, probably. Only get one attempt at Garg Strat. Not really true. Never thought about that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I The thing is, though, you could probably... You could probably just fight duo guards. At least, that's more viable than fighting a duo boss like... Uh, I don't know. Like the Crystallian straight up. So, so you can you can fight duo guards. They're not the boss that I'm the most worried about. There's other bosses that I'm much more concerned about, I think. Garus is one of them. And I think the Cemetery Shade that has four skellies, that's another one I'm, I'm quite concerned about. But all the bosses that are just a straight up 1v1 fight, you know, the Falling Star Beasts, the Tree Spirits, the Avatars, even though the Avatars are a little sketchy with the terrain sometimes, but those ones are should be fine. You know, the, the Assassins and all that stuff, they should all be fine. Those are fair, fair bosses, and you don't need any strat. You just can go in and just win. Uh, Demi-Human Chiefs, I don't have a strat for them on NG plus 7, like, with these restrictions, but sleep is probably going to be the play somehow. Borealis is another boss that... I have no idea how that's going to work at all. I think it's going to be a case where once if you get that breath attack, you just you have to memory of grace probably. That's probably what it's going to be. Because the rest of the boss is fine. You know, the the scream AoE that happens, the strat is basically to sit at the wing the whole time. Um so yeah, you you sit at the wing and you're out of the range of the scream and you can still punish. So you're you're actually trying to like bait out the scream. Maybe, uh, Wormface should be fine, as long as you take out the enemies, or just bait the boss away. But, but yeah, as soon as those Frost Breath attacks happen, those are all bugged, and they, they have potential to get accelerated by the ice, basically, and then you, you can't run away from them. And so when you get the, the Flying Breath attack, especially, I, I don't see how you can survive that other than Memory of Grace, consistently. Even, even if you're really far away, like you can still get killed by it. So. Gale Rock, thanks for the 50-month Prime sub. Welcome back. And uh, Waffle, have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the Well, it's, it's not even the tree. Ever. It's more just that the attack is bugged and can travel much faster than you can run away from it. It's the, I, As far as I'm aware, it's the only dragon where that happens. And I think it's because of the ice somehow, but... But yeah. Adrenadine, thanks for the 19 month prime sub as well. Uh, right now we have Redan's Great Rune because it just it gives us a bit of endurance and FP. That's basically all the only reason why I'm using it. So yeah, I have to I've done a lot of testing on that. When I was running level one plus zero boss in no hit, I, I tested that a lot. Honestly, I couldn't figure anything out for it to be consistent. I had to just use magic. Oh, I forgot to cast Gamba, dude. Whoops. Probably gonna get hit here somehow. Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda like it's kinda like Fire Giant Breath Attack, man. It's very similar. Where T to be fair, Borealis' attack is probably more consistent than Fire Giant Breath attack. But they're both just garbage, man. And and both attacks that there's seemingly no way to actually consistently avoid it. There is a cheese for Borealis, though. There's there's a way that you can drop Borealis. Um, so maybe that'll be the play. 
15 Bushy's current run. I Well, last I saw, he was doing like a triple rando with a couple people, right? Yeah, don't you love breath attacks, man? Just, you love to see it. I'm very excited for the breath attacks in the DLC. Especially the one that they previewed by on that lion boss or whatever. It's going to be great. Um, which Exig attack, Spencer? Like the breath? I don't know. It's it's the same with all those dragons. All the breaths can deflect off of things. On those ones, it's not as much of a concern. Same with the ancient dragons. It's not really as bad because they don't have so much range. But big spam. Well, the the big AOE one is you just run away. Like that's fine. It's going nice. Yeah, it, it really sucks that <laughs> there's so much of that BS in this game, man. It does really suck. And so many issues would be fixed if breath attacks just didn't deflect. Right, because then Borealis is no problem. Fire Giant's no problem. I, I honestly would not hate Fire Giant that much if that breath attack didn't exist. Or just didn't deflect off of things. He's still an annoying boss, but it wouldn't be nearly as bad. And I would come into him on runs and I would I would just I would be perfectly fine fighting him every time. Are they supposed to deflect? I don't know. I assume yes. I would assume that's something that's way too big to overlook. Um, but I I don't know, I just I don't know. It's possible they just didn't think of the the consequences of it for boss balancing, and and sure they're not they're not thinking about no hit runners when they design an attack, right? That's one thing that people bring up a lot, but in my mind, a fair boss fight is a fight where everything can be avoidable, can be reasonably avoidable, and that, I guess that's basically it. So, so something like Waterfowl would not fall into that category, in my opinion, as something that's reasonably avoidable. So I would say that's that's not a fair thing. Um, but, and yeah, like Fire fire Breath is the same. And, and the thing is, maybe, usually maybe, FromSoft does a pretty good job at doing that. Probably should have come down here earlier, I guess. Uh, Braku, thanks for the brand new sub. Thanks, dude. One of FromSoft's philosophies is that every single attack should be dodgeable consistently if you're good enough. Well, but I don't know if that's actually true, though. I don't know if that is one of their philosophies. It, in my mind, it should be. And again, they usually do that. But, but they definitely don't always do that, right? And in, in this game, especially, it's it's bad. And and Elden Stars, in my mind, like let's say let's say Fire Giant Breath Attack and the Breath Attacks was a mistake and they weren't meant to deflect. There's no way Elden Stars they were thinking, oh yeah, they can dodge this. There's no way. So maybe they wanted to transition away from that and try to go more just like to force people to have to use defensive builds or something. I don't know, man. Impossible to say, because I haven't asked them. But I think I think Elden Stars is the one that really tells me they just didn't think about that. Or, or maybe they did think about it, and they actually wanted it specifically to be impossible to avoid. Now, it is possible to avoid, but I don't think they knew it was. Probably. And especially when you when you're just dealing with the attack on normal playthroughs, there's no chance you're avoiding it. Because you have to do a very specific thing to avoid it, so. It's just, it's just like waterfowl. I mean. At least waterfowl you can run away from it though. Well, so the thing with Moog, I think. I think they messed up make making the physic tier not fully negate the attack. 
Um, but I don't really have an issue with that sort of thing as much, though. Because you're clearly not meant to avoid it. So that, that's the main thing. And they're trying to they're trying to get you to use a specific item to make the attack less bad. And so that that's sort of a different thing. I'm still not a huge fan of it. I I, I like the idea of, of ha having the player go get something. I don't know why I grabbed this. Go get something outside the boss fight that aids in the boss fight and isn't required in the boss fight also. Um so I, I kind of like that because then you have to do some extra planning and it rewards people who explored more and all that stuff. But they should have made the actual tier be better instead of just like, oh yeah, you're going to still get damage from this. So if you're using like Ritual Shield or you're using Ritual Sword or something like that, you're still going to lose it. You still need to heal. And I'm still, the boss is still going to heal up big chunks of health and all this stuff. So like, because it's, it only makes it so you don't get staggered and you take less damage. I, I don't even bother getting it on playthroughs. If it prevented his heal, I would have probably gotten it. I, I would get it on most of my like casual playthroughs, I think. Shackle does not cancel any attack where he's in hyper armor. So any of his counting you can't cancel and also nihil you can't cancel. Yeah, the, I, I do get it on this run, but it's simply to, yeah, just be able to use Black Flame Tornado. But most playthroughs, you don't actually need to worry that much about getting a ton of damage off on the transition, so. So I, I'm fine with the idea. I think they just, the execution's maybe not so great on that one. What I would have rather see is maybe they cut the heal in half when you use it and you also take no damage. That simple. Like those two changes makes that tier much more useful. And then, you know, for me personally, I would, if, if it did that, I would certainly be getting it on most playthroughs, I think. Well, to be fair, it already is very easy to skip phase two, so. I mean, how many people, how many times have you seen clips of people go into Moog on their first playthrough and just use Comet Azur? Like, it's, there's, even on level one, it's trivial to skip his phase two with just shackling him and just deep using, having enough DPS that you just kill him before he even starts it. So I don't know if that's really an issue. Bubble is meant to prevent him from siphoning your blood to restore his health. Yeah, I guess I guess when we read the descriptions on stuff, it'll we'll figure that out. But it it certainly seems like that's what it's meant to be. But yeah, you're right. It just doesn't even do it. Just go all heals, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I haven't done enough normal playthroughs on him to figure out exactly how much health or how much his heal should get reduced when you're using the, the tier. I do think it should be reduced at least. Like, it should at least reduce it a little bit. And I, when I think back to the dagger run, that's a run where we had a very normal build. I didn't, I didn't use any buffs on it. Um, I didn't bother with the tier. And, and we did ha we did have a pretty substantial amount of phase two. Like he he probably got back up to around fifty percent by the end of it. And so yeah, if if, if I grabbed the tier and he was at like twenty five percent instead, I don't I don't think that's I I think that's I think that's reasonable, dude. I think that's reasonable.
So I, I don't think it would make it too easy to skip phase two. Like you'd be able to fight less of phase two, but that's just your reward for actually getting the item and exploring and stuff. And I've gotten them there with the tier and the DPS you can get. Well, so he gets a huge damage negation, right? On the transition. So that's another another thing that prevents the instant kill, right? You get, I, I don't know how much damage negation he gets, but it's a lot. So I, it wouldn't have been enough either way. And you, you can still hit him during the hill, even if you do have, or you don't have the tier. You can hit him a few times. But I think the damage negation he gets solves the, the problem. Surely won't die from rot. Let's go on Skull. Have you heard long that it would not as lead you? Um, the NG plus scaling, you you would have to check uh, some spreadsheet or something. It's not. It's not as simple as every boss just gets double health. Um, because when you think about it, the the bosses that need the biggest change in HP are the early game ones. Because you're you're going from a character who has nothing in fighting a boss like Margaret to a character who has plus 10 weapons and is, you know, like level 150. So you need a huge increase there. But on a boss like Elden Beast, on NG+, Plus, um, he probably has about the same HP, actually. It's probably about the same. Because there doesn't need to be that big of a difference because you're already, you know, fighting him the first time with a max out weapon and character or high level character. Get a couple of these going. Uh, and Curse, congrats, dude. You love to see that. Mor Morgod is a very fun fight. There's some things I don't like about him, maybe, but he's pretty good. He's one of the better main bosses, for sure. To no hit. I, I think he has way too... For a normal playthrough, he has way too little HP. He probably needed about 50% more health. And maybe not 80 poise, also. 120 would have been fair for him and Malekith. Like, both of them need 50% more HP, at least. And 120 poise. That's what I would do. What's my favorite Minecraft material? <laughs> I have no idea. Probably, uh... Like, Minecraft material, dude. Man, that's a tough one. I immediately think of, like, slime. That's the first thing I thought of. I do really like the, uh, I like the scaffolding that they added. I'm not sure when they added it, but definitely last time I played the game before, like, recently, there was no scaffolding in the game. So I like that. Oh, I only have two raw pots, dude. Um. I don't know. We went to Malekith and Morgoth at pretty reasonable levels for their HP. Yeah, that's that I mean that's the tough part about balancing these games, right? Is that you 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 have no idea what build somebody's going to come into the boss with. And uh, you know what? All, all things considered, they do a pretty damn good job balancing the bosses. Cuz you don't want to balance the bosses to the people who come in to the boss with every buff and red feather and then all that stuff. But you also can't really balance it to the people who have you know, way under leveled with, you know, half the upgrade level they should have. But I, I just, for normal builds though, 
when you get to when you get to Morgoth, if, if you have how do I what's a normal build? If you have just around the highest upgrade available at a boss like Morgoth, like let's say you're going into him with plus 17. Um he dies very quick. Versus a boss like Millennia, if you go into with plus 25 or something. You know, she has more of a regular amount of HP for that damage amount. Um, and then, like, Fire Giant right after, I would say, probably has pretty high HP when you're going into with the max upgrade you can have at that point. Or, like, a... It's not that... 17 is not the highest upgrade you can get, but if you're doing region locked, it is. And it's probably pretty fair to assume that that's around what most people would have at that point if they're just exploring the areas normally. Yeah, I play with controller, uh, AutoZone. And and yeah, when you get to Godskin Duo as well, they're they're, you know, they're pretty tanky. If you're let's say at a plus, maybe maybe I'll give you the best twenty. Ever. I don't know, like plus twenty or so. But then you get to Malakath, and if, even if you're at that upgrade level, like he still dies relatively fast. And it, it's it it also it just doesn't help that he gets stunned constantly. And it's the same with Morgoth. So, I think the biggest thing would be add, add 40 poise to their their poise health, plus 40 poise, and then that would probably do a like go a long way balancing out the lack of HP they have. Uh, by by he thanks for the brand new prompt sub. I, I, I agree with that, Sauron, as well. Actually, I think you're right. What am I missing here? Oh, I only have... Ah, oh, bro. How do I only have two ritual pots? I think you're right, and... I guess there's, there's not really an issue with that, but... Personally, I really do not like the design of a boss where it's a DPS race. Even though I think you're right. I think that is what they meant for it. It's like he does a f shit ton of damage, but he also doesn't have a lot of health. So I just think it's more fun in boss fights when you go in with lower damage and you actually have to learn the moveset. Like if they're de dealing a reasonable amount of damage, but they're also tanky enough that you're you're in the fight for a long time and you have to learn the fight. I, I enjoy that way more, so... Yeah, things do a lot of damage in this game, man. It's not like Dark Souls 3 where you can kind of just go into the boss fights with 30 vigor and, you know, a bit of armor, and then you're just surviving. I wonder if I should get the ritual pot that's here. But yeah, you need, like, coming into Fire Giant, you need, like, 60 vigor, and you need the flame-resistant talisman to even think about trying to survive that fire breath attack, right? Because it has so much damage on it. So yeah, personally, I prefer balancing to be shifted the other direction where bosses have, you know, are tankier. Uh, to be fair, a lot of the bosses have the right tankiness. Like, Fire Giant, I think, is, is fine HP. But also just dealing less damage overall. Just because then, like I said, you can go into it with a normal build and still survive a couple hits. Which causes you to actually like learn the fight better before beating them.
And this boss is so bad. Wave, thanks for the 11 month reset, dude. Meme tier. Oh, my God, this positioning so bad. I wonder if they made this area before actually deciding there was going to be a boss here. That, that must have been the case, right? <laughs> why, how else could you make an arena like this? arena where the main part of the fight like the main spot in the arena is a fucking <laughs> like huge angle huge angle and it's a boss that moves around a lot and the attacks are like majorly affected by this slope in a, in a bad way. So it does, it's not the not a boss that screams to me like it should be on a sloped arena. Probably. Really just don't trust that attack at all. I wonder if I, if I popped a Grease right there and then, well, I guess it's the same number of Rot. Just, I was wondering if I could maybe like get some hits off and proc Rot instead.
Nice. Every time he rolls like that, I just get the feeling he's going to do a breath every single time. I think we got him, right? Should have went behind him. This was a mistake. I, I honestly can't tell if I got him or not. Oh, yeah, we got him. Wait, I, th I thought I saw the poison. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got him. Except... Poison. It's not a good feeling fighting a boss where, <laughs> like, they just have to do one thing and then it erases all the effort you just put in. It's not a good feeling at all. I really hate it, dude. I, I hope at some point we figure out a way to deal with that attack better. Yeah, that would that'd be so cool, Wave, if they had something like that. Because it would be it'd be very useful. Because what I, what I have to do all the time on this run is I just look at the HP bar. And I just have to try to tell by the numbers if we have both proc'd or not. It's not convenient at all for a status build. Oh, did I? Yeah, I guess I forgot to use Red Feather. It doesn't really affect the fight much anyways. Well, I'll probably end for today here, you guys, I think. I have long of this world and death. Are you so far, we've no hit everything on the any percent. Which is pretty good. Just got, yeah, we took a hit on Red Wolf because I mistimed my Vow of the Indomitable. That's it. Do I like dark chocolate? I do, yeah. Alright, dude. Yeah, short stream today. Tomorrow will surely be a longer stream than this. Just I, like I said, I started kind of late, so... Uh, but yeah, this run's going well so far, dude. I mean, kind of the first step to getting all great runes is just we got to be consistent at the stuff we've already done, which is the any percent. And so, you know, I'm back to practicing the bosses. Like, I'll, I'll practice them more tonight probably as well. And, uh... Yeah, so get get back to being super consistent at them. i to practice Red Wolf more probably, but... Yeah, we should be in a good position to uh, get this run fairly soon, but things are always going to be slower when I'm doing another run on the side, like the casual playthrough I've been doing. Like, obviously, it's going to be slower getting this run because I'm not doing it every single day, so. Uh, let's trade Squilla, you guys. And we were talking about him earlier when somebody asked how I, you know, how I started doing no-hit runs, but. Uh, go side to Squilla, you guys. The OG, he's, yeah, he's one of the two people that got me into doing no-hit runs. Him and Faraz were the two. But yeah, he's doing, uh, he's learning the drums right now. He's, and, and he's doing, I, I don't know. I honestly don't even know what he's doing, but he's playing the drums. With some game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll be back on tomorrow, you guys. Surely longer stream. And, uh, and yeah, so take care, you guys.